Your mind transcends limitations. What does it mean? In a little village uh, south of Ottawa, in Canada, there was a young boy who went to school one day, and his teacher began talking about children in Africa who didn't have drinking water. Now, he was six years old, and they said in the classroom that if you raised $70, that's all it would take is $70, and we could create a well in a village in Africa for $70 so that they didn't have to drink dirty water. And something happened to the spirit of this young man, six years old, first grade in school, and he decided he went home to his mom, Susan, and his dad, and said, I want to build a well in Africa. And they just thought, well, he's six years old, he's a cute little boy, right, you're going to build a well. Well, he said, no, I really mean it, and he, it stuck with him. It was so powerful. It was a powerful because there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. When an idea's time has come and it resonates within, within you and you stay connected to it, it can't be stopped. And the little boy went, to, he said, can I do extra chores and raise money? And he did. He did vacuuming. <laughs> He uh, worked around the house, he raked the leaves, he did whatever it is that he could, and he got a little extra money here and a little extra money there. And finally, after some time, he was able to put together $70. And he went to the t school, and they went down to the place that had given this information, and they found out that it took a lot more than $70. It was misinformation. That it really cost $2,000. And he said, then I'll do more chores because he knew that this is a world that is friendly, not a world in which you give up when you have a simple little obstacle like that. And he began to do more, making lemonade, whatever it was that he had to do. And he worked, and he worked, and he got his friends to work, and he got the neighborhood to work, and he got his parents involved in it, and he raised $2,000. His name is Ryan. Ryan Hurljack. Well, that's just the beginning of the story, because as it turned out, he sent the money to this place in Uganda, this little village, and they built a well. And they invited Ryan and his mother to come to Africa and speak to the children of this village. As a young boy, he was now, I think, seven or eight or nine. I'm not sure of the exact details. And he went over there, and he began to give talks. And the people welcomed him there. And they were so grateful for this boy who had such a vision that he would bring drinking water to people who had dirty water that they had to drink. And he was so touched by it that they named the well after him, and they named a day after him, Ryan's Day. And they created a documentary about this little boy. It's called Ryan's Well. Well, today, that little boy has raised over one million dollars for water to be brought to the villages of countries in Africa where they didn't have it before. A million dollars. He lectures all over the country, the United States and Canada. He's in great demand. And when he got there, he had a little boy that was so connected to him that they were pen pals. His name was Jimmy. And it turns out Jimmy was an orphan. And Jimmy got himself into some difficulty after Ryan left and went back to Canada. And Jimmy was captured by rebels and was going to be either killed or trained to be a killer. And he had a friend who contacted the Hurljacks back in Ottawa, and Jimmy was brought back through all kinds of wonderful channels that were worked together. And he became his brother, and he adopted, they adopted this wonderful boy as, the, as their son. And that young man, when I saw the movie, Ryan's Well, on the spiritual cinema, 
I said, I want him in my audience because he inspires me. And I sent it home because I was working on the book. And I told Marcy, I said, I want every one of my children to watch that and know there's nothing that can stop someone who believes that they can create something if that idea is within them. And there he is right there, my friend, Ryan Hurljack, and his mom, Susan, and Jimmy. Stand up. Let the world see you. Susan? Jimmy. Yeah. Ryan has appeared on Oprah twice. And the first time when she called and asked if he could come, it was on a Thursday when he had something that he had to do in school, and he said no. And his mother said, you're saying no to going on Oprah? I can't do it at this time. And they changed the date so he could be on when she talked about her most inspiring young people. You inspire me. You inspire me. You inspire me. Thank you.